God spoke to us in many ways and through the prophets, but finally he speaks to us the perfect communication of his son. So Jesus, the second person of the Blessed Trinity who took on our humanity, the Word incarnate, is the one who reveals the Trinity as a communion of love, as a communion of relationships. Jesus reveals the face of the Father as well. Uh, we find this all over the place in the scriptures, of course. God is perfectly communicated in Christ, and Christ gives himself completely in love. So Christ's communication is, if we look at it from that standpoint of the incarnation, we look, upon, we look at it from this angle of God taking on our humanity, becoming one of us, in order to heal us and complete us. So in taking on our humanity, Jesus really makes the human person the way to God, because all of our communication then is going to be modeled on His. That it's in our humanity that God is not expecting us to be perfect or unlimited or almighty. It's in our humanity that we are called uh, to, to draw close to God as He draws close to us. And basically, this is what salvation is, an act of communication in which God and human beings draw so near to one another to the point that they're bound by mutual presence in which the life of each becomes the life of the other. This, is, this isn't something that's forced, but it's a, it's a bond that is liberating, that, that communicates dignity and freedom and hope and life. Professor Ibotza has a wonderful phrase for this as well. He says, the incarnation is the grammar of the language of God to humanity.